What's going on YouTube? For everyone who goes here bringing you another awesome video, bringing you a anime review of Samurai 7. This is my second, if you see the fingers, two, second video that I'm giving you guys. <clears throat> Pretty much, uh, I want to thank you guys for voting again. As I did before, you guys have requested for this amazing show. I'm going to really put some of the shows that I had on that list because those are some really good shows that I want to try to... <clears throat> Excuse me guys, I just finished eating, I apologize. Got gas in me, boys, got gas in me. <clears throat> so a lot of the shows that I recommended to have you guys vote, you guys voted. Uh, I'm going to re-put them on a list again, on a poll for next Tuesday. So I'm going to be recording anime series every Tuesdays. And my Monday vlogs every Monday. And Friday and Saturday I upload video game content for you guys. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick summary of this show. A very short and sweet and detail for you guys. Hopefully I can get this camera to focus, focus. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a quick summary. And we'll go from there and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions of this show. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll give you the guys' characters' names after as well. So Samurai 7 tells the story of a village named Kanana. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Every year during the harvest, a group of bandits come and steal away almost all of their rice and have been harvested that have been harvested every year. Not only that, the bandits come become more demanding and taking women and children in addition to rice. So the elder of the village decided to protect the village they must hire samurai to fight against them. So pretty much it seems that these samurais, these seven samurais, that they ended up hiring or hiring a couple of them. I'm not sure that they just all came banding together at once. They hired some samurais to protect their village from these bandits that keep consistently stealing from them. And then now it got even more to the point where they're even taking their children and women, which is very, very horrible. Um... <clears throat> I remember watching this show and seeing that happen in the beginning of the first episode, seeing them getting the, just taking their stuff, taking their money, taking their foods. And then it started getting to the point where they started taking their children and their women, which was horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, pretty much it, it led to the point where these sat together, going to different towns, protecting people as best as they could and doing their very absolute best to protect them. I mean, it, it, to this point, I mean, this anime is one of my favorites because of the story it told of these seven samurais and how they all banded together to join as a, a group of seven to protect as many towns as they could from these guys that were just becoming dictators, taking everything they could, taking their the, the women, the children, the food, etc. Um, the characters' names. I may pronounce these guys' names very incorrectly, so I apologize. Please bear with me. This is very hard. Not really hard. It's just that I don't want to pronounce anything wrong and I have any... Super fans of Samurai 7 attack me. <laughs> Not really attack me, but more or less correct me. So here I go with the names of the samurai. The first samurai I see here is Shimada Kambi or Kambi. The next one after it is Okamoto Katushiro. The third, Katayama Goribi. Fourth, Shishori. Fifth, Kikushio. Sixth. Hayashida Hiache. Hopefully I pronounced all that right. I apologize if I didn't. And the last but not least, Kyuzo. So all these seven samurais, of course, have their backgrounds and etc. and story. Um, they, again, like I mentioned before, they all banded together to do what they had to do to protect the villagers and villages that they got to and protecting people that they could. Um, it, it, again, this is one of those stories where... Honestly, it's 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 very very touching story. Again, it's very awesome. It's got a lot of action, a lot of intensity. Um, I definitely would recommend anime to those who haven't seen it or would seen it. I don't really know who's streaming it anymore. Um, I'm not sure if Crunchyroll is or if Viewster is, but I would triple check there as well. And many other streaming companies that do have this or even Funimation, make sure to check those guys out. Um, if I were to put this on my list, uh, it's not a top five for me because it's not really something. I mean, it's got a great story. It's got a great background story. It's got great action. Got great story. And it's not to say that it's gonna not be there one day. And it will. It will eventually. But I'm a bigger fan of like storytelling shows that make sense to me. Sorry about that. I keep moving the camera. And I, I like shows like that extensively. And um, I would rate this anime and my list like a top seven. Definitely a top seven. I wouldn't even move it from there if I tried. Um, my rating for this anime definitely. I'd give it like a seven. Or even an eight. I mean, it's a very good, satisfying show. It's a very good storytelling show. I would recommend this to anyone who's an anime fan. Hopefully, you guys will check this out. Check out the companies that I mentioned to you. All of them are awesome. And 
Hopefully you enjoyed this amazing video. Please leave a like if you guys want to see more videos like this. I will be uploading another video. Oh, sorry about that. I will be uploading uh, another video on Tuesday. I'm going to make another list for you guys to vote on. And as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe for more content of mine. And as always, have fun, stay awesome, and keep gaming, guys. So have a good rest of the week.